Okay, folks, we are going to use this image yet again. This time it's called refineedge.psd. You can download it from the website to follow along. And uh, we're going to talk about the Refine Edge dialog box in this. And the reason we want to use this image again is because we've already got this nice path here in the Paths palette, this vector-based path that's going to allow me to quickly and easily demonstrate uh, the Refine Edge dialog box without having to make another selection. So click on this thumbnail right here, and there's your vector-based path again. You already saw this in the, uh, the Pen Tool lesson and again in the anti-aliasing if there is such a word, lesson. So with that path now selected by clicking on it, go ahead and make a selection out of it right there. And for demonstration purposes, I want you to leave anti-aliased unchecked this time. Normally I would anti-alias everything, but I'm going to leave it unchecked this time to demonstrate the Refine Edge dialog box. Okay, now as you can see, what happened here is everything but the Prius is now selected. So hit Control Shift I on your keyboard, I for invert. We've just inverted that selection. And now we have just the car selected. Now let's go to the Refine Edge dialog box and get to work refining that selection. And here's the Refine Edge dialog box. And one thing I want to point out, all of these settings are remembered from the last time we used it. So reset everything to zero. And that means a contract expand slider should be right in the middle here. Okay. And then let's uh, go ahead and zoom in to, let's say, about this area right here. You see the stair stepping occurring on the car. Now, there are several different ways you can view the selection. Okay. One of them is the marching ants display, another is the quick mask mode which we talk about in another lesson. And here is your selection on a black background, on a white background, and as an alpha channel or a grayscale mask here. So what is best to use? Well, normally you want to consider what the final destination is. And since we're going to be moving this car into an image on a dark colored background, I want to use this selection on a black background. That'll work best for us. Okay, let me say, folks, every case is different. So the best, the best way to get a good solution when refining an edge is to play around. Okay, but I will tell you this, um, the one that I find the most useful or the combination that I find most useful is the smooth in conjunction with the feather command. And what the smooth is, it does the exact same thing as anti-alias except you have more control over the amount that you're giving. Let me zoom in here and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Watch me add some smooth to it. All I'm doing is partially selecting pixels, you see. If you saw the anti-alias movie, I'm doing the exact same thing here. And now if I use feather with that, what I'm going to do is blur the edge, okay? I'm going to move some transparent pixels in and out from where the edge lies right now. Let me show you. See? So I'm just blurring the edge a little bit. And that'll usually, I want to use just a real small amount of feather. Okay. And if you if you look up here, radius does basically the same thing as feather. Okay. So I normally use some smooth with some feather. It's a little too much, I think. There we go. And then I'll say OK. I'll go out to 100% by hitting Control-1 on the keyboard. And now I'm going to move this selection to its own layer by hitting Control J. Now I'm going to take a look at that on a black background. To do that, hold down the Control key and create a new layer. That'll create the new layer under the layer you had selected. Let's fill that layer with black by hitting Alt Backspace. And there you have it. There's my selection. You can see what a nice job it did making a real clean edge. So there you have it folks, the Refine Edge dialog box.